Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and we're going to be looking at these part three questions from the summative that deal with colliding objects, and then more importantly, how objects experience force or different forces when they collide. So obviously we're going to be looking at this first question with our skateboard and shopping cart, and then diving into other collision related questions with hopefully a better understanding on our belt so that we can double check our understanding and how we answer these questions. So in this question, we have a bunch of information here. We have a crash one and a crash two, where two similar, if not the same skateboards, crash into two carts. One has more mass than the other. Both carts have a uh, velocity of five uh, meters per second, but our lighter cart and our uh, heavier cart experience the same velocity change. So different masses, same velocity change. And the question is, well, which skateboard here is experiencing a stronger force and why? So let's go ahead and take a look at our simulator and see if we can kind of figure out what's going on with that situation. So object A and B is going to be our skateboards, and they collided into C and D, which are our carts. Uh, obviously, A and B have our same masses because they're the skateboard, but object C, that's our lighter cart, and D is the heavier cart. Now, you notice our carts start off with that same uh, starting velocity of 5. And if you notice, they change to right around 8. I couldn't get object D to be exactly 8, but you'll see here. It doesn't matter when it comes to kind of helping us figure out what's going on with the force and who's experiencing what force uh, and what strength. So let's go ahead and look at the question one more time. Which skateboard is experiencing a stronger force? Well, first and foremost, we got to remember that in a collision, objects that collide experience in, uh, uh, equal forces but in opposite direction. They apply or exert the same force on each other but in opposite directions. So the question is, which object, A or B, in terms of our skateboards, is going to feel a bigger opposite force from their cart? Well, if we rewind here to the very start when this collision occurred, You'll notice two things. Number one, we have our forces being exerted in opposite directions for both. But notice our lighter object exerts a smaller force and a, our larger object exerts a bigger force. So smaller force, bigger force, smaller masses, larger masses, okay? And our objects, in order for our objects to then have that similar, if not the same velocity, well, our larger cart here had to experience a larger force. Same idea here, folks, as our previous um, previous sections dealing with how a force can affect different mass objects. Okay, larger forces need larger, uh, I'm sorry, larger mass objects need larger forces in order to move them. So notice, if we're going to move a light object and a heavy object the same, if we're going to change their velocity the same, we're going to need to apply a larger force to that larger object, okay? Now, because this is a collision, that larger force that's exerted is also going to be pushed and exerted in the opposite direction of our skateboard in this situation. So again, larger objects need larger forces to move them. Smaller objects need smaller forces. And then whenever objects collide, they exert equal equal forces. So let's go ahead and take a look at which answer is going to be the best. We have the skateboards did not experience a force. Okay. Only the shopping carts experience force. That's not true. Again, forces applied in opposite directions are equal in a collision. Crash two, the force on the cart was stronger in the crash. So the force on the skateboard was also stronger. Well, there you have it. B, crash two. That's the one. Okay, the diagram doesn't tell you anything about the force. Well, it does. That change of velocity tells you about the force. Anytime we have a change in velocity, remember, we have a force that's being applied in order to change it. Skateboard experienced the same force in both crashes. Uh, no, it did not. No, it did not. We need a larger force um, with larger masses in order to change them. So the answer is B. So go ahead and dive into these next set of questions that are going to help you kind of um, practice with that big idea, figuring out which uh, answer best applies. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.